Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. I'm Cherie and I'm so glad that you're here with us today. Today's Bible story, we are going to be learning about the recreation story and how God promised to create a new land for God's family. But before we can dive in, let's worship together. This light of mine. our Bible story for today. God's story, recreation. So part of God's story is about when he recreates the world, and it begins like this. Remember the garden where the first humans, Adam and Eve, lived with God? It was a perfect world. Everybody joyful, included, safe, and loved. Lots of laughter, playing, and exploring. Basically, whatever we needed to be happy and comfortable, it was there. There was no such thing as sadness, or boredom, or pain, or hate, or death, or anything bad. Kids, can you imagine living in a world like that? Well, God promised to recreate another perfect world for his family, sometime in the future. It's really hard to understand what a perfect world would be like, since life can be full of hurt and disappointment. So God told us a little bit about it in the Bible, and even sent his angel to visit a man named John, and show him, so John could write it down for us. We still can't picture it exactly, but God wants us to try to imagine it, and he wants us to get really, really excited. See, here's what the angel showed John. 
Jesus on a throne, a perfect king in a place with no hunger, no crime, no war, and millions of angels saying blessing and honor and glory and power belong to the one sitting on the throne. Everybody was excited about this king. John also saw a city coming down from heaven, bright with God's glory and sparkling with precious jewels like glitter. We don't know exactly how bright God's glory is, but it probably makes the sunniest day look cloudy. Don't worry though, you can't get a sunburn in the new world, partly because we might not need sun with God's glory, but also because there will be no pain. Anyway, this city had a wall with 12 pearl gates guarded by 12 angels. The wall was made of white jasper, and the city was pure gold, gold like glass. A crystal clear river will flow straight from the throne of God with water we can scoop up and drink whenever we want. And the water is special. When we drink it, we'll live forever. In fact, no people, animals, or plants will ever die in the new world. Now you may wonder what happens to all the people throughout history who chose to be in God's family but died before he recreated the world. Well, they'll come back to life and live forever in the perfect world too. And God promised us other stuff. For starters, he'll wipe away the tears from our eyes. He'll give us new bodies that don't hurt anywhere and don't get sick. There won't be any fear. We'll forget everything bad that happened to us on Earth. Everybody there will be a part of God's family. And everyone will treat each other with love. Because when we see the amazing place God created for us, we'll finally understand just how much God has always loved us. And the best part? God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will live there with us too. There are many other things God is waiting to surprise us with. And some things he told us, like world peace, no sunburns, and always being loved, are hard for us to imagine. But we can trust that God will keep his promise to recreate the world, and that this world will be wonderful and everyone who lives there will be filled with joy forever. And that's the story of recreation. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The world used to be perfect. Now it's not. God promised to make it perfect again. God showed John the new world. Jesus will be on a throne. A glittering city will come down. The city will be perfect. We will live forever. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will live with us. We will be filled with joy. And that's a part of God's story. In today's Bible story, we learned about how God created a new world for God's family, for you and I. This land would be perfect and joyful. There would be no pain and only joy. And even though we don't know exactly what this land looks like, and it can be even harder to imagine a world without pain and only joy and peace and love, we can trust that God will keep his promise to make this land and whoever lives there will be filled with joy and love forever. This month, we have been celebrating Black History Month. And today we are gonna celebrate and the life and achievements of Dr. Alexa Kennedy. Dr. Alexa Kennedy was the first African-American woman neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon is a doctor who works on brains. And I have a video to show you that talks about Dr. Alexa Kennedy. Every month, meet Alexa Kennedy. When she was a little girl, she had big dreams. She wanted to be a doctor, a brain surgeon to be exact, so she could help people's brains when they were sick. Alexa Kennedy studied really hard, and when she grew up, she became the first African-American woman ever to become a brain surgeon. Dr. Kennedy was a children's brain surgeon who loved making her patients feel better. Sometimes they even drew her pictures just to say thank you. Kudos to Dr. Wow, Dr. Alexa Kennedy is an amazing woman. She had a dream to become a brain surgeon and help other people. She went to school and she studied really hard. And when she got older, she became the first African-American woman brain surgeon. She had faith 
and herself and that she could do anything she put her mind to with a little hard work. You know who else had faith in Dr. Alexa Kennedy? That's right, God did. God knew that she would do amazing things. He also knows that we can do amazing things too. Please stand up and dance and sing as we worship together.
time dancing and singing with you all. I also had a great time learning about God and his promise to make a new land for God's family. And how this land would be filled with endless joy. Learning about Dr. Alexa Kennedy was cool too and how she became the first African-American woman brain surgeon. Having faith and trusting in God and a little hard work, and you can do anything you put your minds to, just like Dr. Alexa Kennedy did. Now it's time to pray. Let's fold our hands and bow our head and repeat after me. Dear God, you are amazing. Thank you so much for giving me a home. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for Children's Chapel today. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next week.